Hello YouTube fans, my name is Leo, and welcome back to another video with the Super Santa Client. In this video, we'll be talking about a super volcanic eruption that changed the human population for a long time. And before we get any further into this video, I do want to mention that only 35 of you have hit that subscribe button, and I really want to get to 50 by the end of the summer. So if you please help me to hit that subscribe button, and I also will fix the problem that we have with our subs of just 35. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and a comment. But now for today's video. So, um, it was 75,000 years ago, and imagine what it would have been like then. It may seem like just a time that occurred many years ago. During that time, Earth was during a cycle of ice ages that went between 2 million years ago and 10,000 years ago. And, but there was no ice age in particular. Into, into Indonesia. There exists a, a place that was there 75,000 years ago that is now a crater lake that we call Lake Toba. The largest lake in the, in, in the country, but also it has hidden secrets inside. From 75,000 years ago, the youngest record of an eruption there, um, it was there that a big super volcanic eruption was, was there. And it's the only thing that can compare to other major super volcanic eruptions like Yellowstone. In fact, we already made a video about this, and as a result, there's a link that can be found in the description for just this video. But now let's continue. Um, then what happened was, it was theorized by geologist Michael R. Rampino and, and one other guy, um, that, um, that it caused a volcanic winter. What that basically means, similar to a nuclear winter caused by an asteroid impact, like the one that killed the dinosaurs, um, 65 million years ago, um, it's it's something like a winter caused by volcan vol volcanoes. At the least, this eruption was 12 times as much um, um, as as the most recent um, history largest volcanic eruption, which was Mount Tambora in 1815. But well, um, that that's just the least, and what it caused was a worldwide winter. For it even snowed in June in the northeastern United States, like in New England. And this is something that can't usually happen because this month is part of the summer season, um, um, as seen um, in, in areas like New England. So, Toba is fixed, derived to have caused the same thing. Now for some more evidence that was uncovered. However, East Africa may not seem to be affected as much as, as it was affected for New England during the 1815 eruption of, of Tambora. In that event, evidence was, was recently found in Africa's Lake Malawi by a group of archaeologists who, who were led by Christine Lane um, as, as um, ash sediment in, inside the lake. This was evidence that the eruption had spread that far. As a result, it was figured maybe the volcanic winter had done impact to this to East Africa. But later conclusions have determined by, by this group that that it was just less impact than it was back from 1815 during the northeastern US. Um, so as that, what about the human population? Humans were living back at 75,000 years ago. So what occurred ended up being a human population bottleneck, basically. The human population was reduced as compared to, to what the human population is today, which is around 8 billion people, or a bit less, I think that's 8 billion, but um, then, in that case, humans were just dying, and, and also animal life were dying from the superheated ash that came down through this eruption. So Earth was a much worse place than it would be today back 75,000 years ago, all because of one such event that formed the largest lake in Indonesia. So, this is all the information we have for this video. Um, um, thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe for more. Bye, and I'll see you next time.